Elemental shots have been the cause of confusion amongst a lot of different players. In this video, I hope I can make it a little bit more clear. So there's five types of elemental shots that a bow gun can use. There's fire, water, ice, thunder, and dragon. Now dragon is a bit special and not really grouped with the other ones, so I will cover that separately. So when I refer to elemental shots, you can just assume that I'm talking about fire, water, ice, or thunder. First off, we need to understand the true power of a bow gun. The power of a light bow gun is the attack value shown on your screen divided by 1.3. The power of a heavy bow gun is the attack power divided by 1.5. So what that means is that if you have a light bow gun with a power of 260, it is the exact same power as a heavy bow gun with a power of 300. Now, the physical power of an elemental shot is actually pretty negligible. It's only a 7% motion value. Now, without getting too detailed, that means that you're going to do 7% of your true raw as damage. So if you have 200 raw, like in the example I just gave, the power would only be 14 attack. And then, of course, on top of that, the part of the body that you attack may only take 65% damage. And before we even calculate defense percentage, we're already down to a measly 9 damage, which is nothing. So yeah, it's pretty negligible. The true power of an elemental shot comes from the element, which is 45. Now this would be the same as 450 on a Blademaster weapon, because for those, they show the elemental power times 10 on the stats screen. However, unlike Blademaster weapons, it also increases in relation to your weapon's raw attack power. So the calculation is actually really simple. Just take the true raw attack power of your weapon and convert it into a percentage. So if you have 200 raw, that's 200% of 45 elemental damage, which means one shot from an elemental shot will do 90 elemental damage. So a weapon with a high raw attack is actually really important when choosing a bow gun, even if you plan to do elemental shots. You'll often hear people say that elemental shots are best used on a light bow gun versus a heavy one. The reason for this is really due to the rapid shot. And if you recall from my tutorial for the light bow gun, a rapid shot just means that for specific bow guns, there are certain shots that are considered to be on rapid, which means if you press the button to shoot, instead of doing one shot, you're going to do multiple shots in a row, and all for the price of one bullet. Now, it's a great thing, and there's a lot of light bow guns that have an elemental shot on rapid, and this is really, really shines. Note that there's two types. Most of them is going to be three shots with low recoil, but there are a few light bow guns, I believe, that have four shots with medium recoil. Of course, there is a modifier to make sure that it isn't totally broken. I mean, doing three elemental shots for the price of one is already pretty amazing. So when you're doing an elemental shot on rapid, you do 70% damage. So there's a reduction. So that means if you connect with three shots, which generally takes the same amount of time it would have took you to do two, you do a little bit more than two shots in the same amount of time, and you save a bullet. So it's not a bad deal. Now dragon elemental shots are a little bit different and not that utilized to be honest. Um, they have very high recoil and it actually counts as a pure shot. So that means if you shoot a larger monster or a medium sized monster in a place where the bullet can go right through their body, you can land up to five hits with just one shot. But attack power wise it's only one for physical which is pretty much zero and it's 40 for elemental versus 45 for all the other ones. So basically, it's absolutely useless against monsters that don't take dragon damage. Like, you will literally, will, it does nothing. It's like a paintball. Uh, on Rapid, it has a 20% reduction instead of 30% as a small note. But again, dragon elemental shots are not really utilized that much in the game for various reasons. An outside Rapid shot as well, another reason why people say that elemental shots are really for light bow gun versus the heavy bow gun is also because if you look at what we've been going over, the damage of an elemental shot on a light bow gun is exactly the same as the damage it does on a heavy bow gun. But the light bow gun, of course, can move faster, you're more nimble, and you can reload faster, and everything else. So that's why people say that it's better on a light bow gun. And I would have to agree. And I would not cover some of the armor skills that actually affect the amount of damage that your elemental shots do. There's actually two different ones. There's a blanket one called Elemental Attack Up, which is later in the game. And what that does is increase your elemental damage for every element by 10%. And then, of course, the more utilized ones are the specific element attack up. For example, dragon attack up, or ice attack up, and so on. 
So there are three different tiers to that skill. And remember, your base elemental damage is 45, but is also scaled by your weapon's power. So attack up, elemental attack up plus one, gives you 5% more damage plus four element. Um, plus two gives you 10% uh, plus six. And then finally, uh, elemental attack plus three gives you 15% increase plus nine. Now there, we have to note that there is a cap of 1.2 times your base elemental damage when it comes to boosting. So where in past games it made a lot of sense to use both element attack up and for example element attack plus three. In this game there really isn't that much meaning at all. So I would say just go for your individual elemental attack plus three. So having high raw attack is actually really important for doing a lot of damage with the elemental shots. I mean, it's really nice. I mean, you don't have to worry about your distance at all. Elemental shots do the same amount whether you're shooting right next to a monster or fairly far away. Um, and because it really depends more on just your attack as a modifier, you're going to have a weapon with crazy minus affinity, like the rusted Kushala light bowgun, and it doesn't matter because you're using that high base raw to scale your elemental shots. So even the for example, the Ukanlos uh, light bow gun is really good when it comes to elemental shots. And finally, there is a skill called Rapid Plus One that you can use on a light bow gun, um, which is nice. I mean, it adds in one extra shot to your uh, rapid shot. But I will have to note that there is, it really does require a different type of playstyle because, for example, if you're doing three shots in one, you're open for, I would say, a full second while you're doing those. So if you miss on the first one, you're going to miss on all three. Going up to four shots is actually a pretty big jump, so I think people who know how to do it, or if you're going up against a monster like uh, Moran or something that doesn't move a lot, then great. But in general, I would say Rapid Plus One may not be desirable, but go ahead and try it out and see what you think. And then yes, I didn't cover elemental light bow guns in my tutorial for my top favorite light bow guns, so I figured I'd give a quick few shout outs here now. So for fire, I, it has to be the Wrath of Lowe's light bow gun. This thing is great. It's got normal two on rapid. It's got high attack. It can do fire on rapid. So it's a great all-around uh, bow gun, even if you're not using it for fire. For water, I would have to give it to the Ashen Kechawacha. It's also a very good one. Ice and Dragon definitely go to the Rusted Kushala with its incredibly high raw. And Thunder would go to the Stygian Zenogre. Um, it's just another solid weapon that can do a lot more than just uh, the elemental shots, but when it comes to thunder, it is the king. And finally, I want to note that once White Fatalis does become available in the West officially, there is a light bow gun for White Fatalis that has really high attack at 403, and you can do rapid for every single elemental shot in the book, so all four of the major ones. So once that's out, you're going to see a lot of people using it, and for good reason. So anyway, I hope you enjoy learning a little bit about elemental shots and how it scales to your raw attack power. Uh, if you haven't tried it out, I suggest you try, um, but make sure you go online and do a little bit of research and find out where it's most effective to shoot the monsters. Otherwise, you might be a little disappointed if the hunts take a little too long. But if you're hitting in the right spot with the right element, I guarantee you won't be disappointed. Happy hunting!